What is going on, my foodie foodsters? Back at it with another cooking experience here in the Food Loves Me Too kitchen with your boy, Darnese. Today, what's on the menu? Catfish filet. Yes, that's what we're doing. Yeah. And of course, we always keep it simple over here. For this, you're going to need the eggs. For the egg wash, of course. Then you're going to need... Well, this... You don't need this, but, you know... I just bought a regular cheesy pack at the grocery store. You know, but we're going to add some other stuff to this. We're going to add some veggies to that. And we're going to need the milk to add to that according to the packet. And these are the seasonings. A little bit of basil, whole oregano, garlic powder, black pepper, old bay, lemon. Yes. That's how we're giving it up. And of course, for your drench, you got to mix about 70% of that and 30% of that. And you get this. Presto. That's your flour and cornmeal mixture. And of course, you gotta drench these in the egg before you do that. And we're gonna add some lemon to this to cut the, you know, the fishiness flavor of the catfish so it tastes nice and good. But you know what? Before that, I think I wanted to show you some of my talent. You know, people think I just YouTube make, you know, videos about cooking, doing reviews. Yes, that is what I do. That is what I do. But I'm very talented. I am very talented. Let me show you something. You know what? Let me see. Hold on. Okay, like I said, I'm very talented. I don't just cook and do reviews. So let me show you. We got here some eggs. You know? Y'all know how to... You know how to get jiggy with it? Yeah, I'm a juggle. Three A's, you know? I just gotta show off my talent. Cause y'all think here at Food Loves Me Too that we play games, and we don't. Let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Cut it. Cut it. Don't keep that. Cut it! <sighs> Give them the intro. she watch it but anyways <laughs> that was a mess to clean up here we go let's get these baby season let's start with some lemon make sure you get the lemon on both sides yeah flip it give it a flip yeah get it nice and lemon up that's what I'm talking about Mix it in there. By the way, I already patted these dry. We'll rinse them off, patted them dry, made sure there wasn't no bones on the edges. Sometimes the bones pop up on the edges. You don't even know they're there. You do not want to get that in your throat, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just saying. You just don't. Okay. Now let's get them seasoned. By the way, as y'all do know, the food loves me too. So this is how we give it up. This is how we get with it. That's old bay right there. You put as much as you like on yours, and I'll put as much as I like on mine. This is pepper. 
obviously you have to use common sense. You don't want it to be too salty or too much anything. Some garlic powder, just a drizzle. Flip them over. This is all simple stuff. Anybody can do this at home. I told you, we don't build rockets in this kitchen. We keep it simple and we keep the temperatures right and we turn it up a notch to make sure that it's all tasting right. Obey, I always put my salt product on first. Some people use salt this, salt that. Yeah, Obey has salt. Then somebody will have garlic salt. This is garlic powder. Little drizzle just like the other side. Pepper. Yeah. Let's get busy with it. Okay, now, what you want to do here, put it in the egg wash. Get it nice and eggy. Yeah. Then put it in your batter. This is my 70-30. 70 70% 70 flour, 30% cornmeal. Uh -huh. Make sure you get it on there nice and good. Uh -huh. Then I just snap your fingers and it's all done. Now, let's move on to the side dish. Like I said, we bought one of these cheddar broccoli noodle joints, you know, whatever you want to call it. Mac and cheese is whatever, you know, got the broccoli in it. And what we're gonna do is add, I got about two cups of vegetables. We're gonna add that to it. Let's splash these off first, let's go. So we're gonna wait till this gets to a boil. Let it blanch for about three to four minutes boiling. Then we'll drain it and add the pasta. Okay, that's been boiling for about two minutes. I'm about to pull those, drain them, and add the pasta mixture according to the package. While that's doing that, you let these sit and we got the temperature on 335. Preheating. We about to add on this guy. All right, now let me show y'all a trick. Okay, these are now, you know, draining obviously. These big broccoli bits, get in there and cut those up because you don't want those to be too big in your pasta. You know what I'm saying? So you just want to manually cut those up while they're straining. You know, get up in there and cut them all up to where they're small. You don't want them too big. If you got, like I did a, the mixture of the mixed vegetables because with the green beans some of those green beans are too long you want to cut those up too you want everything nice and small size to where it just blends in with your pasta you don't want nothing standing out to where it looks like something wasn't mixed up right you got me food loves me too let's go mm -hmm. okay now according to the pack it says add three cups of water and one cup of milk. I got that in there now back on the fire. Let me add the veggies back. Start them in there. Then it says add two tablespoons of butter. Bring all of this to a boil. Of course the veggies I added, but bring it to a boil. Then add contents of package, let it return to a boil, let it go for 11 minutes on low heat. Before it boils, I like to add my seasonings. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of Old Bay. Basil. Oregano. You gotta hit. What y'all know about that pack game? You gotta pack the back to get it out quicker. Okay, this is about to start boiling. We're about to add the pack of back, let it bring back to a boil. Then we're gonna bring it down. We're about to put the fish on. Let's go. 
Okay, now that we got a gentle boil on, I turned the temperature down. Let's get this fish on. Let's go. See, the good thing is about letting it sit before you put it in, the flour batter mixture gets on to the fish it sits and it won't get all in your grease every day. Who wants to do that? Let's go. Who loves me too? Let's get this. Okay, now I didn't flip these babies over. They're almost about done. We're done in about 13. We'll see. We'll play it by ear. And, um, oh, this is the most important part, of course. Is if you read the packet, you gotta stir occasionally. Now there's like three minutes left on these, according to the packet. This is when I add some real cheese. Yeah. Let that blend in there. Let it blend in there, and you let it continue cooking the rest of the way with real cheese. Who <laughs> loves me too? Let's go! Okay, about 13 minutes, they're, they're done. Um, these are done, I pulled them. I'm just gonna let them sit for about three to four minutes and serve them, they'll thicken up more. You'll see. Okay, let's start pulling. And of course, you never want to serve no soggy product or with oil in it. So, you know, I usually dab the top as well. You know, we do things right over, up over here. We don't play no games. Zero games are played. Food, definitely. I keep telling y'all this. Y'all think I be playing. It loves me too. Yeah. Let's go. We about to grub. Y'all ready? Let's go. Okay, welcome. If you watch this video up to this point, you might as well just smash that like button. You know, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That's how we giving it up. Yeah. Catfish filet with a side of mac and cheese prepared my way in the Food Loves Me Too kitchen. Yes. <laughs> hot sauce. You gotta have hot sauce if you're eating catfish. Don't play yourself. Come on. Mm-hmm. Put a little there. A little bit on there. You know. Not not I don't wanna get too jiggy with it. Uh, come on, Master Roger. Come on. This is simple stuff we do over here. We don't, we don't build rockets. I keep telling y'all that. We don't know about the ranch game. When it comes to fish, we don't know about that. Just put a little drizzle in there. Just a little, just a little drizzle. You don't need too much ranch. You don't need too much of that. You know? Let's go. Okay, let me let y'all get the first bite of the pasta. I gotta make sure this don't fall. Y'all get the first bite. How'd that look? How'd that look to y'all? It look good to me. Hold on. How'd that look? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Cheers. I hope that tastes good. You know what I'm getting out of this? See how I finally cut the um, vegetables up? That's why I showed you that part earlier. That's important. You want to make it one dish. Mm. Try the fish. Ooh, nice and flaky. I love catfish. 
I don't know about y'all, but I rock with catfish. Look at that. You see that sriracha action, action on there? That's that sriracha action. Yeah. See that ranch drip? Got that ranch drip going on. Uh-huh. <laughs> Y'all thought we played games over here. Let's go. That is banging. That is the real look. Y'all think I'm playing? Look at that flake at you. Y'all got me all the way messed up. All the way. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Mmm. Mmm. Turn that part out. Mmm. And rock with your boy. Who loves me too? We ain't playing no games over here. We just do simple food and make sure it tastes good. Mmm. Food loves me too. Mm. Hold on. Hey, did y'all hit the outro yet? Food loves me too.